Hello everybody, this is Brian Blagan here. Welcome back to Let's Play from One Glaze. In this episode, we're gonna go through the go through the Mount Frozen. We are first train in battle of this episode. When you have insomnia, that may affect the wake neurotransmitters in your brain, disrupting your wake and sleep messages. Actually, I want to use. Let me. Put Swamper in the flame. Okay, let's take him on. A neurotransmitter that plays a central role in sending wake messages. Only Balsama works this way. Do not take Balsama if you have narcolepsy. When taking Balsama, don't drive or operate heavy machinery until you feel fully awake. Walking, eating, driving, or engaging in other activities while asleep without remembering the next day has been reported. Balsamers should not be taken together with alcohol. Abnormal behaviors may include aggressiveness, confusion, agitation, or hallucinations. The temporary inability to move while falling asleep or waking up and temporary leg weakness have also been reported. In depressed patients, worsening depression, including risk of suicide, may occur. Alcohol may increase these risks. Side effects include next day drowsiness. Ah, sweet. Ask your doctor about Balsamra. If you love shrimp like I love shrimp, red monsters and the shrimp, it's time to get the deal. It's finally back. Alright, let's keep going here. I wonder what's up, up ahead here. Let's see what this guy has. Oh, I didn't save state. Be right back, folks. Alright, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Like I said, let's go ahead and take on this. Let's go ahead and take on this guy then. But cancer, we're fighting it with immune therapies and genetic testing. With laughter, with strength. Because every one of us is doing one thing only making cancer history. Active management can protect capital long term. Active management can tap global insights. Active management can take calculated risks. Active management can seek to perform. Because active investment management isn't reactive. It's active. That's the power of active management. Hillary Clinton is changing up her campaign as her poll numbers take a hit. She seems to be opening up more in interviews and even responding to questions about Bill Clinton really? as a possible running mate. This is Bernie Sanders gains momentum and attention with his poll numbers rising. She brought out correspondent Ed Henry live in Washington with more. Hey, John, good to see you. You mentioned uh, Hillary Clinton's struggles with female voters. She was on the show yesterday in Iowa speaking directly to women's issues. Trying to get women back in the tent, if you will. A new Washington Post ABC News poll suggests he's dropping 20 uh, points continue. among white women, uh, specifically just in the last couple of months. Let's see what this guy has. Scandal. I don't think this place has women counters. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, 
Monmouth University poll just out this morning suggests Bernie Sanders the hell? Hillary Clinton in a critical first in the nation primary of New Hampshire by How the hell am I supposed to get over there? Four or five polls in the last couple weeks suggesting he's in the lead in New Hampshire. Ed Henry, Ed, thank you. One, one minute, folks. Uh, you can get what I mean, cameras here. Yo, how the hell are you supposed to get over there? You know what, let's just keep going. We'll figure it out later. Don't touch the wa that water there. You pull my will become frozen. If anybody knows how to get that ammo over there, please let me know in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. But, but just for an, but for right now, let's just keep going. This is a deal that's designed to go around Congress and the American people from the very start. We all remember the president didn't want to submit it to us at all. It's going to be an executive agreement, still an executive agreement. Didn't want us to have any say at all. So while top congressional Democrats say it is time to move on, McConnell's planning to continue pushing to keep the pressure on, at least to take up and debate this nuclear agreement. Meanwhile, White House aides sound relieved that all but four Senate Democrats voted against taking up the Iran deal for a vote. At this point, it appears they're looking forward to I'm confused. To the what we feel confident in is that after September 17th, Congress's opportunity to spoil this agreement will have expired. Uh, and we'll be able to move Wait, I think I know what to do. So I gotta go uh, down this way, this way, and that way. September 17th, Thursday would be the 60-day deadline for both chambers of Congress to vote. Poland's okay. support for the nuclear agreement dropped over the summer. You can expect the fight to continue. And for a while, my commander, Mike, thank you. A new military news about Russia causing concern at the Pentagon. Moscow shipping weapons at heavy equipment to Syria. Expanding its military presence in the Middle East to levels really not seen since the 1980s. Here's what the White House just had to say about this. What we would prefer to see from the Russians is a more constructive engagement with the 60 member coalition that's led by the United States that's focused on degrading and ultimately destroying ISIL. Uh, we would welcome a Russian participation. Oh, oh what the? Uh, and as we've said before, we continue to believe that. Uh, now we got these trans that want to use items. What the fuck? God damn it. Fuck him. Fuck off. Fuck off the table. Damn it. Jeez. Get out of here. What a fucking shit. Oh my god, I hate when trainers use items. Like, stop. That, I'm sorry, that, that pissed me off. Okay, guess he can get away with my counters here. Okay, now the game decided to give me where my counter. See what we got. You know what? No. Let's just go ahead and fight this guy.
Uh, I kind of want to use flamethrower there, but whatever. Mm. I don't care. I misclicked the uh, thing. Whatever. Let's keep going. Alright guys, I'm back. Let's go ahead and take this guy down and... Oh, I misclicked again. But that's okay, I want to use Leaf Blade anyway. And click will hit too. Can we survive this attack? Can we survive Earthquake? Yes, we can. You better not use a fully stored. Okay. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. Will you guys excuse me for a minute? Alright, guys. Sorry about that. Let's take out this to beat the same thing. It's frustrating when you get interrupted. It makes it frustrating as hell. See everyone, my entire team's on level 84.
security breaches could have a lasting impact on any government employee. Our chief intelligence correspondent, Captain Harris, is live from our DC bureau with more on the line. Captain? I do not want to step in that water, so let's keep moving. Ah. Oh, we're here already. Fight. We're gonna have to fight with Gina now. They also note that this is a generational problem that cannot be easily fixed with credit monitoring being offered by the government. The big worry among those in the intelligence community is that the likelihood applicant associates, friends, and families is high that they will be impacted. Well, one of the things that they can do is not have this individual directly that may be working for um, a sensitive uh, defense contractor to perhaps target their spouse, perhaps target their uh, kids, to try to get them to reveal some information about their parents' uh, work uh, and uh, use that uh, eventually for uh, as soon as they President Obama plans to raise this issue of the aggregation of the data by the Chinese military uh, during that upcoming uh, state visit. Jen, Captain, thank you. Well, stocks are soaring on Wall Street today. The Dow up triple digits ahead of the key Federal Reserve decision. Plus, a new NFL season means the return of fantasy football, and the business surrounding that sport could test team loyalty for some fans. You can get into a really weird dynamic where you're cheering for a player that's playing against your home team. People can play their fantasy team because um, it's going to get personally invested in. Is it our insightful strategy to make Edward Jones one of the country's biggest financial services firms? Or 13,000 financial advisors who say thank you? It's why Edward Jones is the big company that doesn't matter. They come to your pet go and help. Love your pet and trust your debt. It's huge consequence. Consequence. The number one veterinarian recommended retail joint health. I'm gonna have to go surf. This thing has a sunny day. <sighs> what? Christ. It's not even, it wasn't even five minutes. One minute. Can you excuse me for a second again? I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and just take out this whole elf. Motris, really? How can Dragon Island hurt Hornjo? Mm. Websites like FanDuel and DraftKings, they charge an entry fee to play. But that's it. For instance, you might pay a $25 entry fee and then you assemble your fantasy team. But there are limits. There's how many players you can actually pick. Now, fantasy sports players win points based on the real world performance and statistics of the individual players on their fantasy teams. So, they may call it fantasy football, but the billions, and I said billions of dollars generated by fantasy sports, that's the real thing. But Fantasy Sports Trade Association says 
57 million people in the United States and Canada will play Kennedy Sports this year. A player will spend an average $465 this year compared to $95 they spent in 2012. The industry obviously booming, but it's often drawing critics like New Jersey Congressman Frank Pallone, a proponent of legalized sports betting, who's calling for a congressional hearing to determine if fantasy sports bets are to break into law. Now, gambling online is illegal. But the 2006 Unlawful Internet Gaming Enforcement Act includes a loophole that permits fantasy sports and the type of online gaming offered by DraftKings and FanDuel. The largest fantasy sports sites, DraftKings and FanDuel, have partnered with major league sports leagues like All right. the NBA. Well, guess we're doing here. Baseball. They bought stakes in the left coast and their value to those a billion dollars. Huh? All right, Adam Shapiro. Adam, thank you. Well, how about a night of wine and tacos at Taco Bell? The final 30 is next. about this guy real quick. Whirly. Alright guys, that's all for this episode of Let's Play From One Blazed. In the next episode, we're going to explore the Pizza Alpha and Stop P.S. and Regina. It's the final showdown of basically team uh, of them. So there you go everyone. This is Brian Blackner. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.